Hey friends, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs. In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to draw a Gerber daisy. Now I have 11 steps here and I've gone ahead and drawn half of the flower so that you can see what we're working on and how it will look. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take something round and trace it, create your first circle. Then you're you can just freehand this. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's only going to be a guide. Then you're going to draw one, two, three more circles. So the one in the center is obviously the center of your flower. The second one is for the small, smaller petals shown here. And then uh, the third one is for the larger petals. And then this space here will be for these flower petals. So the first thing we're going to do is to create these tiny little circles within that first circle. Now, if, if you feel comfortable and you feel brave, go straight to your markers. If not, draw it in with a pencil first, then you can go over it with your micron pens and you can use a kneadable eraser to erase all your pencil marks afterwards. Okay, so let's, oh, let me start by telling you, I'm using a 0.3, I'm sorry, a 03 micron pen and a 005. I like using the larger nib for the outline and then I will be using the smaller nib to create the detail. So we're going to start by filling in this first cir circle with a bunch of little circles. And keep them small, keep them close together. It doesn't matter if they overlap. They don't have to be perfect. And again, you're just using these lines here as a guideline. So if you go over it, it's okay. And if they're a little wonky like this one is, that's okay too. Okay, so now we've filled in our little circles. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create these tiny little petals that you see here, and we're going to do two rows of them. So make sure to keep them small enough that you can fit them within your second circle. So you're just looping like this. They don't have to be perfectly uniform. And you're going to create two rows And then in step three, we're going to create three rows of the same little loops, but they're gonna be a little bit larger and we're going to create two rows of those. Mine are not matching up perfectly, so I'm just going to add a couple more here just to even it out a little bit. And that's step two. I'm sorry, step three. Now the next step is to create the petals that will be in the front, like this one here. So all you're going to do is let me, I'll finish this one here. You want them to taper at the bottom and not to be pointy at the tip, but kind of rounded. And I'm going to create my first three And then I'm going to throw a couple in here and there. I don't want it to be too uniform. And then step... Diesel must have heard someone at the door, sorry. Okay, so step five is to create the petals that go in between. So we're going to tuck these in here and there. And you can tuck a little one in the back wherever you want. And then we're just going to continue to fill in the background petals. And 
And I try not to make them too uniform because that's not the way nature works. Okay, so now we have all our petals completed. Now we're going to switch to the smaller nib. Again, this is a 005. And we're going to create these little lines on each side of the petals that are in the front first. So we're just, I'm going to, I started half of this one, so I'm gonna finish the other side. And they're just skippy little lines and a few dots. Very easy. Some lines, skip, make some longer, some shorter, add a few dots in between. And we're going to do that on each side of the petals. Okay, so now that we have those two lines in, we're going to fill in a few lines in between. And we're going to do the same type of lines, but we're not gonna go all the way up. We're just gonna start adding a few little lines. And you can add one in the middle if you like. And now we're going to do some lines on the back petals. Now, because some of these are more forward than like this one here, we're going to add the same type of lines on this side. And then we'll do some shorter ones. So go ahead and add those lines. And then we'll add some shadow and I'll show you in a moment how we're going to do that. I think I got them all. Now we're going to add a little bit of shading to the petals that are in the back like we did here. So because this one is pretty much covered by two other petals, we're going to create some flicking lines. And the way we're gonna do that is you don't want lines that look like this. So you have to flick it like that. So your lines are broader at the tip and then they taper rather in the beginning and then they taper off at the end because you're flicking it. So for the petals that are further back, do that, flick. And then because they're covered by two petals on either side, we're gonna continue up and we're gonna to go to the side of that petal and we're gonna flick up like that as well. And then we're gonna to go to the tip and we're gonna flick a little bit also. And then we're gonna just draw some lines in there just to deepen the color of that one petal. And now because this one is really not that covered, we're just gonna add a few. But over here, because it is covered by another petal, we're gonna add a few short lines just to create a little um, cast shadow. Now this one is kind of covered, so we're gonna add a little bit more because we want this one to appear darker than that one. I'm gonna add a little bit here and then I'm gonna come down from the tip. And this one here, it's just peekabooing. So we're gonna create some lines because this one should be much darker. And then I'm gonna come from the top again and add a few lines. So you can see how by creating these little lines, adding these lines, it really deepens the color of that petal and really sets it back. So it looks like it's in shadow. 
So I'm going all over the place here. I don't mean to confuse you. So again, we're going to darken this one because it's in the back. It has a little cast shadow from the other petals that are laying over it. And then just a few lines from the top because you can really see that one well. So this one again is hiding in the back. We're going to try and make this one a little bit darker by adding more lines and a few lines from the tip. And then down here, we're going to really darken that. And any spaces that you have in between petals, make sure you really darken those, those up. So you don't want any white space. So we'll come back to that. Let's finish these up. Okay, so we're finished with this step eight here, creating these little lines. Now step nine, we're gonna go back to number three, to the longer ones, and we're just gonna create a few lines in there as well. Just to darken it up a little bit. Now we're at step two, we're going to do some little dots in here. Just to darken those up a little bit but because they're so small we can't add lines so we're just going to add some dots now step 11 is to fill in these spaces here because you don't want any white space. And that is it. Then we can create the stem. You come from the center. The stem is a little thick. I'm gonna switch to my larger marker. And because these are underneath, because the uh, petals here would cast a shadow, we're gonna make those a little bit darker, that area there. And there you go. Now you can take your kneadable eraser and erase your pencil lines. And there you go, a beautiful Gerber Daisy. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you give it a try. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'll always get back to you and I always try to help as best I can. Um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you do give this a try and would like to share it with me, I would love to see how you do. You can do that on our Facebook group, Vivo Vintage Design Tutorials, where you can share your versions of the tutorials and techniques learned on my channel. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.